Hey guys and welcome to Coffee with Casey. So today I'm drinking my iced coffee and I'm coming to you from my basement post-workout. Um, it's a Sunday for me. Um, I got up this morning, I ran some errands and now I'm back home, worked out and I'm just tired. However, I wanted to try to get this video in for the week. Um, I said a couple of weeks ago that I was... Um, you know, I had an experience and I wanted to share that with you guys. So that's why I'm basically here. Um, my experience was a few weeks ago, I went and got my first COVID shot. Um, that was like really, you know, anxiety ridden within itself. But the experience that I had on the way to get the shot, it was, although it was trivial, it kind of cascaded into other things that made me like reflect on myself and my behavior. So, um... I traveled to this medical campus. This campus is huge, by the way. Um, I'm talking about acres and acres of land, and it's very easy to get lost. So when I got there, of course, knowing me, because I could get lost literally in my own backyard, I am like a mess. But um, I'm searching for this building, and I drove into several different areas that, of course, was not the building that I was looking for, and I panicked. I don't like getting lost. Like that is a huge thing for me. Um, getting lost, uh, the anxiety builds up because I I know I'm a control freak. I am. I don't try to control other people, but I try to control myself as well as things around me because, you know, I'm the type of person that I guess I'm, I have a perfectionist trait, which is annoying because when I do something, I go all in. Like I will exhaust myself trying to get this thing done. So I know that this perfectionist trait is like, it's not a good thing because it's like, I am so such a stickler with being on time that I will, you know, arrive to a place like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, sometimes even an hour early and just wait in the parking lot. I don't like the idea of being lost or being late like that is a no-no for me so when i got lost in this medical campus i was like oh my god i need to get to my appointment time is winding down and i need to find this place so i was just thinking that in life sometimes we really feel lost like we feel that things have spun out of control we might not know how to find our way um i know this is like a cheesy analogy or it may sound cliche but this experience i guess triggered me to look at other things in my life and that is the feeling of being lost, being out of control, not really knowing where you're going. I did have that feeling a few years back and I was, you know, thinking about starting a business and I was terrified and I had all these feelings because I didn't know the path. I felt like my life was sort of, you know, in disarray. Um, so just sitting there in the parking lot, freaking out. I sat still for a moment. I was like, okay, I'm lost. I don't know the area. I've asked a couple of people. Mind you, I'll ask people and they'll be like, oh, just take a couple of rights and you'll be there. Come to find out when I stopped, I was actually in front of the building that I was supposed to be at. But the panic was so much that I was kind of blinded, not knowing where, you know, not knowing where I was. So for me to stop and look around and evaluate. So I want you to think about that with your life. Stop look around, evaluate your area, where you are in life. Sometimes what we need, we can get turned around. However, if we look closely, sometimes the answer is literally right there. We're not seeing it because we're so panicked and worried about what's next instead of what's in front of us. So I just wanted to leave you with that message today. Um, I do hope you drew something from it. And I just wanted to say, you know, thanks so much you guys for your continued support. If you want to know more about what I do, please visit my website. It's www.caseylostner.com. And you can find out about what I do as a coach and as an author. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you soon.